What could be so attractive about a supersymmetry that suddenly doubles all the particles in nature without any evidence of any of the new particles? Because if a grand unified theory, gut, exists at a mass scale of 15 to 16 orders of magnitude higher energy than the rest mass of the proton, this is also about 13 orders of magnitude higher than the scale of electroweak symmetry breaking. The big question is why and how such a huge difference in scales can exist for the fundamental laws of nature. In particular, if the standard model Higgs is the true last remnant of the standard model, then the question arises, why is the energy scale of Higgs symmetry breaking 13 orders of magnitude smaller scale than the scale of symmetry breaking associated with whatever new field must be introduced to break the gut symmetry into its separate component forces? The problem is a little more severe than it appears. Scalar particles such as the Higgs have several new quantum mechanical properties that are unlike those of fermions or spin-1 particles such as gauge particles. When one considers the effects of virtual particles, these tend to drive up the mass and symmetry breaking scale of the Higgs so that it essentially becomes close to, or identical to, the heavy gut scale. This generates a problem that has become known as the naturalness problem. It is technically unnatural to have a huge hierarchy between the scale at which the electroweak symmetry is broken by the Higgs particle and the scale at which the gut symmetry is broken by whatever new heavy scalar field breaks that symmetry. The brilliant mathematical physicist Edward Witten argued in an influential paper in 1981 that supersymmetry had a special property. It contained the effect that virtual particles of arbitrarily high mass and energy have on the properties of the world at the scales we can currently probe, because virtual fermions and virtual bosons of the same mass produce quantum corrections that are identical except for a sign, if every boson is accompanied by a fermion of equal mass then the quantum effects of the virtual particles will cancel out. This means that the effects of virtual particles of arbitrarily high mass and energy on the physical properties of the universe on scales we can measure would now be completely removed. If, however, supersymmetry is itself broken, then the quantum corrections will not quite cancel out. Instead, they would yield contributions to masses that are the same order as the supersymmetry breaking scale. If it was comparable to the scale of the electroweak symmetry breaking, then it would explain why the Higgs mass scale is what it is. And it also means we should expect to begin to observe a lot of new particles, the supersymmetric partners of ordinary matter, at the scale currently being probed at the LHC. This would solve the naturalness problem because it would protect the Higgs boson masses from possible quantum corrections that could drive them up to be as large as the energy scale associated with grand unification. Supersymmetry could allow a natural large hierarchy in energy, and mass, separating the electroweak scale from the grand unified scale. That supersymmetry could in principle solve the hierarchy problem, as it has become known greatly increased its stock with physicists. It caused theorists to begin to explore realistic models that incorporated supersymmetry breaking and to explore the other physical consequences of this idea. When they did so, the stock price of supersymmetry went through the roof. If one included the possibility of spontaneously broken supersymmetry into calculations of how the three non-gravitational forces change with distance, the strength of the three forces would naturally converge at a single very small distance scale. Grand unification became viable again.